Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Windsor Brokers uh, Live Daily Market Outlook for Friday, 14th of uh, December 2012. Uh, we are the last uh, day of the week. Uh, deposit uh, the sentiment established, uh, dollar negative uh, sentiment established after uh, FOMC uh, still uh, persists in the market uh, with the single currency attacking uh, 130, 100 on a renewed attempt. This morning we have seen already brief. Uh, a break uh, sterling struggles under the recent high at 161.70 and uh, remains under slight pressure. Uh, dollar yen uh, is a uh, top performer uh, still uh, with the uh, 84 uh, psychological barrier being approached, 83.95 since so far with brief corrective action, uh, likely seen preceding a fresh uh, rally and the uh, possible test of our initial targets and the yearly peaks at uh, above 84.00. Uh, uh, dollar Swiss is uh, under heavy pressure uh, cracking the uh, important uh, 9213 uh, low uh, with the negative uh, sentiment and the, uh, all the near-term studies aligned uh, in negatively aligned they're seeing a scope for a fresh uh, extension below 9200 that will basically signal the uh, extension of the larger uh, uh, downtrend from 9970 uh, following the two months uh, consolidation above uh, 9213 that was peak, uh, capped at uh, 93 uh, part of 95 uh, zone Crude oil uh, gets uh, supported after China's uh, uh, PMI data that uh, came in a rather positive way and the uh, fuel recovery hopes with the current uh, price for the January uh, US crude, sweet crude oil uh, currently approaching 87.00 barrier while uh, yellow metal still uh, struggles under 1700. Uh, several attempts seen from yesterday did not result in a break above this level and the down, downside pressure is still uh, uh, quite evident in the near-term uh, price action for the gold. As said, the uh, top news from the last night is uh, China's uh, HSBC factory, uh, factory flash uh, uh, PMI that uh, uh, showed the expand, expansion in December at its uh, fastest pace in uh, 14 months as new orders and employment rose and uh, adding to evidence uh, of a pickup in the economy that helped uh, to boost the market uh, sentiment. The PMI index for December rose to 50.9, the highest level since October 2011, and the fifth uh, straight uh, monthly gain. A figure above uh, 50, as we know, indicates uh, that growth is accelerating, while the uh, dip below is, uh, shows uh, a contraction and the slowing uh, growth. Uh, the flash uh, survey showed earlier in the month that uh, then uh, usual ahead of the Christmas holidays provides a further sign for leaders uh, meeting this weekend uh, to chart an economic uh, policy course for uh, 2013 that uh, Chinese growth as the second uh, biggest uh, economy in the world is uh, reviving. Uh, from the other uh, uh, highlights, the Fitch affirms uh, France's uh, AAA uh, rating but uh, leaves no room uh, for uh, further uh, slippage. Uh, Japan tank and business uh, mood uh, worsens uh, and that's of course pressure to the uh, Bank of uh, Japan uh, for the further uh, policy easing on the, their next uh, week's uh, meeting as uh, the, the pressure uh, remains evident uh, for the uh, action of the Bank of uh, Japan in the coming uh, meeting uh, which uh, takes part uh, next uh, Tuesday if I'm not uh, mistaken. As said, the uh, gold is uh, struggling above uh, 1700 uh, and the main uh, basically pressure uh, comes, uh, investors are still uh, caution ahead of uh, US uh, talks uh, to avoid the uh, uh, looming uh, fiscal calamity that uh, have so far made the little progress. Uh, President Barack Obama and House Representatives uh, Speaker uh, John uh, Banner met on yesterday as frustration mounted over the stalemate in uh, negotiations on the fiscal cliff, uh, 600 billion worth of uh, tax hikes and the spending cuts that kicks in early uh, next year and threaten to push the economy into a recession. Uh, basically, these are the highlights uh, for today. As we said, the positive sentiment of the uh, single currency, <coughs> pardon, and the negative uh, sentiment of a uh, US dollar are still uh, the main uh, highlights. Uh, with the dollar yen being still a top performer, uh, uh, showing the strongest gains among the other uh, major currencies, while the dollar remains under heavy pressure against the uh, euro and the uh, uh, Swiss franc. From today's uh, calendar, it's uh, Friday, uh, today's uh, PMI day, as a number of uh, PMIs are due to, or uh, released or due to be released. 
we already mentioned the Chinese uh, manufacturing one that came at 50.9. <clears throat> Pardon the French uh, manufacturing PMI for December came at uh, better than forecasted and better than the previous uh, November release. Uh, today's release is 46, uh, 44.9 forecast, 44.5 previous one. While the services uh, PMI for December dipped uh, uh, below the previous month release and below the forecast, 44.6 is the today's uh, release. Uh, still to come, uh, uh, German uh, uh, flash services, uh, P, uh, flash services and manufacturing PMI. Uh, manufacturing PMI is uh, forecasted at 47.1, improving, improving uh, from uh, 46.8 uh, in the month of uh, November. Services uh, one also forecasted at 50 compared to 49.7 uh, and then Eurozone's uh, PMI, uh, these are uh, Germans are due at, uh, I do apologize, at 8.30 uh, 8 GMT and 9 o'clock GMT are uh, Eurozone's uh, PMIs. Uh, uh, manufacturing PMI for uh, December is forecasted at 46.6, uh, slightly above uh, November's 46.2 release, uh, while uh, services PMI is uh, seen again uh, uh, higher, 47 is uh, forecast for today compared to 46. Uh, uh, point 0.7 in the month of uh, November and the uh, inflation for uh, November and Eurozone they're due at uh, 10 o'clock uh, GMT 2.2 uh, for the monthly release uh, for the yearly release I do apologize uh, uh, seen in November and changed from uh, September from uh, October pardon and core CPI is also forecasted and changed at 1.5 uh, percent on the yearly basis uh, from America's uh, manufacturing sales uh, from uh, uh, Canada October release uh, shows uh, no change for today, uh, while uh, CPI from uh, inflation from uh, United States due at the same time 13.30 GMT uh, for a month of uh, November month release is uh, uh, forecasted to uh, dip by 0.1 percent uh, compared to increase uh, by 0.1 percent in the month of October, while uh, core uh, CPI for uh, November monthly release is uh, forecasted. Uh, unchanged at 0.2%. Uh, uh, U.S. Uh, PMIs are due at uh, 1,400 uh, uh, GMT, it's a uh, flash manufacturing PMI for December, a slightly, slight decrease uh, seen according to today's forecast at 52.6 compared to 52.8 of uh, a month of uh, November and uh, finally the uh, capacity utilization uh, and industrial production from the United States due at 14.15 will conclude uh, today's releases of uh, economic indicators uh, for Friday 14th of uh, December. Capacity utilization is forecasted uh, slightly above uh, October's release that was 77.8, uh, today's forecast 77.9 percent, while industrial production in November is expected uh, to rise by 0.3 percent compared to contraction of 0.4 uh, percent in the month of uh, October and uh, that's all from the economic indicators. Uh, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, our technicals now and see the uh, <clears throat> pardon, latest uh, movements and the expectations uh, for today. As shown on the hourly chart, as we usually start uh, with the euro, uh, pair basically cracked uh, the 13100 after two days consolidation uh, uh, where the psychological barrier offered uh, quite uh, good resistance, but uh, brief uh, corrective consolidative action uh, was uh, limited on the downside at uh, 130.40. Today's fresh stretch hit uh, 131.18 and uh, keeps the focus uh, toward at the upside. Uh, our initial upside target is uh, 131.25 peak of uh, uh, 5th of uh, December 2012 and then we have uh, 131.38 uh, uh, high of uh, 17th of October and the, the, late, the last one is uh, 131.70 peak of uh, 17th of uh, September 2012. Quite, quite strong uh, resistance uh, zone as uh, seen here with the daily structure being uh, positively aligned. Basically this morning's uh, uh, break above uh, 131 offsets uh, yesterday's uh, doji that uh, uh, signaled the possible hesitation on the approach to the uh, 131 uh, on failure to clear 131 and the approach to the uh, important uh, 131, 25, 38 uh, our key barriers. Now the focus, immediate focus is uh, turned towards uh, the upside with brief corrective actions uh, seen down towards uh, 130.65, 130.40 initial supports that uh, should ideally uh, contain the, the any dips uh, with the 55 days exponential moving average uh, underpinning uh, the action on the hourly chart. 
However, uh, failure to sustain uh, gains above 131, uh, basically dip below 130.40 could uh, prompt uh, a stronger corrective action down towards uh, 130 as uh, our strong psychological support. Uh, that is approximately a 50% uh, uh, retracement of the rally from uh, 129 to 131 uh, from uh, beginning of, uh, uh, pardon, from last uh, Friday, one week rally from uh, last uh, Friday until uh, today. Uh, that uh, could be signal of uh, some stronger corrective action. However, any dips uh, should be contained at uh, 130.00 in order to keep the uh, immediate uh, bulls in play. Uh, conversely, is a clear break above uh, 131.00 and uh, specifically break uh, the weekly close above uh, this level would uh, uh, signal uh, stronger uh, gains ahead as uh, the pair is uh, poised uh, to uh, clear the 131, uh, 25, 38 and the 70 barriers and probably open way uh, for fresh extension uh, uh, higher that uh, would uh, target uh, initially 132.00 and then 132.82 peak of uh, uh, April 2012. A significant is also break uh, below the main bear trend line drawn of uh, 2011 peak at 149.38 that uh, occurred at uh, 129.86. So we are uh, having a more open weight towards the upside as the weekly studies are also uh, positively aligned. Uh, um, generally over all positive uh, tone uh, dominates on the upper side but uh, clear break above 131 and uh, as said the weekly close above this level is uh, required to confirm otherwise uh, we might see further hesitation and further expansion of the current uh, consolidative action seen under 131 in past uh, two days and generally on the daily chart uh, uh, three attempts uh, higher failed so uh, repeated failure could uh, be a signal of uh, stronger weakness as this is uh, this requires a break below 130.00 to be confirmed. Uh, British Pound remains under the pressure in the near-term price action uh, following uh, two days ago uh, posting fresh uh, peak at 161.70, fresh uh, six weeks uh, high and since then the pair continues to descend with the approximately 50% uh, of the initial rally from uh, 100 to 161.70 being retraced on yesterday's uh, uh, spike lower to 160.84 uh, with the subsequent recovery still uh, unable, lacking uh, strength uh, for a regain of initial barrier yesterday's high at 161.52 uh, that is required to open again uh, 161.70 and the 162 as our uh, uh, initial uh, upside target uh, to resume the larger uh, uptrend uh, from 160.00 higher low or the broader one from 152.58.26 uh, uh, low of uh, 15th of November 2012. Current congestion sees uh, the near-term structures still slightly aligned uh, towards the downside following the, uh, the third uh, attempt uh, of uh, leaving a lower top as uh, there is uh, one already uh, seen yesterday at 161.52 uh, uh, with the loss of uh, 160.85 yesterday's low uh, required to confirm the uh, temporary top at uh, 161.70 and uh, allow for a uh, a stronger retracement, uh, 160.65 and 160.40 as uh, seen as the next uh, static supports, Fibonacci supports 61.8% uh, uh, and 76.4% uh, 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 retracement of uh, 160.170 cent. A set uh, break above uh, 161.52 is again to uh, refocus upper barriers at uh, 161.70 and uh, 162.00. .00. The daily, the hourly structure is uh, again uh, lacking strength, and the uh, more indicative is the reversal of the stochastic that uh, sees uh, increased uh, downside risk. However, uh, the hour, uh, the four-hour uh, structure is still holding in the positive uh, uh, territory, although RSI is uh, attempting uh, through the actually being uh, along with the seven days uh, moving average, while the uh, momentum uh, rate of change, uh, momentum 14 days is uh, aligned towards the downside approaching the midline and holding below the uh, seven days moving average that uh, still sees uh, more, uh, uh, still sees basically the downside uh, vulnerable. The dollar yen as we said is a top uh, performer in past uh, couple of days following break above uh, the uh, consolidative range at uh, range top at 82. 83 with 83.95 as seen so far, just a few ticks below psychological 84.00 resistance. Overall, the picture remains firmly bullish in the lower and time 
uh, higher time frames. However, overbought uh, conditions on the hourly uh, that already started uh, to point lower and the uh, signals of uh, divergence uh, seen on the uh, hourly MACD and the RSI uh, could, uh, could be a signal of uh, some stronger corrective action. So far, the uh, reversal of 83.95 uh, found the ground at 83.60. Basically, this is initial support and the 20 days uh, exponential uh, moving average and according to the uh, size of the previous uh, reversal, uh, 83.640 zone should in any case uh, uh, main contain the dips. Uh, this is, these are the levels uh, that are expected to contain in order to uh, keep the immediate bullish structure as uh, basically the rally through 82.80 and 83.00 did not have any uh, stronger obstacles on the way up. Uh, uh, brief uh, corrections from 83.65 to 83.20 talking about uh, 40 ticks uh, correction uh, sees potential for further uh, extension higher with the also overextended the four hour uh, studies uh, now increasing risk of uh, some uh, stronger corrective action uh, daily structure is uh, bullish again uh, uh, approaching and uh, entering overbought uh, territory yet no any signal of reversal that uh, uh, leaves uh, room for a test of our key uh, barriers on the upside 8408 and 8417 yearly peaks uh, break of which is to open weight towards uh, 85 zone where it's uh, weekly 200 days uh, moving average currently standing overall positive tone as said this is a potential for a test of these uh, near-term uh, targets with 83 83 basically as a psychological support expected uh, to contain any stronger uh, dips and the keep immediate uh, bullish structure in play for a, a fresh stretch through 8400 uh, zero zero towards 840817 uh, yearly uh, peaks uh, and of course 85 uh, psychological barrier and the uh, two weekly 200 uh, uh, days uh, moving average uh, important will be also weekly close uh, uh, in case of break above 8400 zero zero weekly close above uh, this level uh, uh, could be quite a positive uh, signal uh, for uh, the pair's uh, near-term action that is uh, focusing uh, firmly upside with positive sentiment uh, being established on the comments on the uh, Bank of Japan's uh, uh, bull <coughs> pardon, uh, rate action uh, seen next week uh, that uh, basically fueled the uh, current uh, rally break above the consolidation uh, range uh, top at 8280. I mentioned this uh, the technicals at that point were uh, quite uh, a weak and basically showing uh, no motion uh, with the a pinch from outside they required to revive bulls or bears in this case it was a bullish action higher and now we have the stronger uptrend a likely close above 8400 could be quite supportive for the near term price action for dollar yen and conversely dollar swiss is, has lost ground brief corrective action seen in the beginning of european session mainly due to oversold uh, conditions and approaching a uh, psychological uh, 92 support with 92.13 being already cracked uh, this morning uh, on the slide to 92.07 marginally fresh low yet we need to see the break below 92 to confirm the uh, end of the consolidative action from uh, 92.13 to 95.00 basically the pose of the larger downtrend from 99.70 and to open way for a, a fresh extension uh, a lower fresh extension of the downtrend uh, from uh, uh, 9970 uh, that uh, would be looking uh, for a test of uh, uh, next uh, supports approximately 91 uh, uh, 91 and uh, 9150 uh, uh, I do apologize 9190 and then we have uh, 9150 and the 9100 uh, uh, close to which is the 90 days uh, uh, moving average uh, uh, basically the reversal of uh, a break below uh, 9200 uh, zero zero, that is uh, uh, current uh, base is uh, seen as a trigger for uh, extension of the uh, corrective uh, action of the larger uptrend from uh, uh, 2011 low at 7067 that so far peaked at uh, 9977 with the uh, 55 days uh, pardon 150 days uh, uh, weekly moving average capping the upside uh, and the break below 90 days uh, one uh, on the weekly chart expected to uh, trigger stronger uh, corrective action of uh, dollar Swiss uh, currently near term uh, uh, structure uh, sees the corrective action underway uh, with the 9241 and 92 uh, two days ago low and the uh, 9273 yesterday's uh, 
high uh, acting as initial uh, resistances uh, with the psychological uh, 9300 level uh, seen cupping so far for now any stronger attempts uh, higher this is approximately 50 percent retracement of the entire down move from uh, uh, 9381 to 9207 uh, seen so far. Uh, while break above uh, 93, 9320, uh, there are approximately 50 and 61.8 percent retracement and previous uh, strong support zone uh, required to provide the temporary relief and the, uh, prevent uh, the pair from uh, further uh, sliding uh, lower. That will basically delay uh, bears for a while. But overall, negative uh, tone seen on the daily chart uh, uh, still sees the downside. Uh, uh, favored, uh, of course, break below very strong as 92 uh, support zone is required uh, to uh, confirm the bearish structure with the uh, that cross established on the daily chart of uh, 90 days uh, moving average breaking below 200 days one, uh, keeping the downside uh, firmly in play. And finally, the commodities uh, mixed uh, things. Uh, gold is attempting still to recover following a post after posting a fresh low at 16.89. Uh, yesterday with the 1700 zone still offering a, a quite a good uh, resistance and the descending 55 days exponential moving average uh, keeping the outside upside the limited so far building up uh, bullish momentum is uh, uh, still uh, lacking uh, strength as uh, some attempts above the midline are seen but uh, yet uh, not showing uh, uh, good results while MACD on the hourly chart is still holding uh, below the midline and uh, uh, still keeping the downside uh, vulnerable. Uh, negative uh, tone dominates on the four-hour uh, chart uh, studies. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, we have the 20 days uh, moving average uh, uh, capping the upside at 17 zone and 1707 previous uh, uh, support now acting as resistance also 55 days uh, moving average uh, as seen as the next uh, resist, uh, dynamic resistance. Basically, regain of uh, 1723 uh, uh, 12th of uh, December high is required uh, to uh, improve the near-term uh, structure and uh, uh, avert immediate uh, downside risk. Otherwise, any bounce uh, higher under this level could be seen as uh, a lower top. At the, at the moment, uh, 1700 uh, level is uh, acting as a quite uh, a good resistance and uh, not allowing uh, the pair for a, a stronger action higher on the downside. Uh, yesterday's uh, at low, pardon, to the, yesterday's low at uh, 1689. That also marks uh, a 50% uh, Fibonacci expansion of the uh, wave down from uh, 1723. Is seen as initial uh, support ahead of uh, a more significant uh, double bottom at uh, 1684 lows of fifth uh, and seventh uh, of uh, December 2012. Uh, below which uh, we have uh, Fibonacci 61.8 percent expansion at uh, 1681. This uh, would be the these are seen as the downside uh, targets in case of uh, failure to clear uh, 1700. Uh, the weekly close below 1700 also is uh, seen as a quite a negative uh, uh, signal for the yellow metals uh, price, and uh, most likely would uh, keep the price under uh, heavy pressure for a possible further. Uh, extension of the latest uh, down leg from uh, 1752 peak of uh, 23rd of uh, November. And finally, the crude oil uh, uh, shows some uh, signals of improvement as hourly bulls are back in play as shown on the ADX chart as the, par, uh, pair, uh, as the price uh, uh, jumps from uh, uh, yesterday's uh, low at 85.80. This is basically higher low compared to the uh, 11th of December one at 85.20, keeping the recovery mode in play. Uh, for our uh, bulls are still uh, uh, weak and still um, lacking uh, strength for a, a possible uh, stronger uh, action higher with the 8766 uh, two days ago high now looming above the price action uh, basically we need to to see rec uh, regain of uh, this level in order to uh, signal some uh, stronger uh, uh, corrective action and uh, provide the temporary relief and uh, avoid the immediate uh, downside risk uh, from uh, a break above uh, basically 87.66 and uh, 8800, uh, 88.50 would uh, be a good signal for uh, some stronger recovery as uh, the price is again uh, back above the uh, previously broken uh, channel uh, support. Any failure below 87.66 uh, could see increased risk uh, uh, towards uh, the downside. Uh, for our uh, indicators are showing a, a gain of uh, momentum as uh, uh, RSI and the momentum uh, 14 are pointing uh, higher as well as uh, momentum uh, 
22 days momentum uh, while the MACD is now attempting uh, through the uh, midline would break above uh, initial barrier at 87.00 required to confirm the uh, positive structure still uh, break above uh, 87 uh, pardon 87 uh, 66 and 88 uh, zero, zero seen uh, uh, as uh, required as uh, confirmation uh, of the recovery from uh, 8520 uh, that uh, will avert immediate uh, downside risk and signal possible uh, basing attempt here. Larger picture is uh, still uh, quite uh, negative uh, following uh, upside rejection at uh, 9031 and still sees the downside in focus uh, with the 88 uh, as uh, a round figure uh, and also 55 days uh, moving average on the daily chart uh, acting as a good uh, resistance uh, for now and break above 88, 8850 is required to confirm the and near term bullish stance. Otherwise, uh, the downside the levels at 85, uh, uh, 20, 85, 0, 0 would uh, remain in the near term uh, focus uh, uh, for the crude oil. Uh, that was uh, all from uh, me. Please uh, submit your questions if there is any question uh, uh, regarding uh, today's uh, session. No questions? Okay. Uh, thanks for uh, being with us. Uh, we expect uh, to see you after the well-deserved and relaxing uh, weekend. Uh, Monday morning, uh, we're back at 8 o'clock uh, uh, GMT, 10 o'clock uh, local Cyprus time. Uh, good luck in the uh, last days of uh, week uh, trading. A lot of profits. And of course, I wish you a nice and relaxing weekend and uh, uh, hope to see you back uh, on our next session that comes on uh, Monday, 17th of December 2012 at 8 o'clock uh, GMT. Good luck.